Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can probably see by the title, I'm going to do a little quick play with the brand new Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay palette that just came out on Monday last week. I did only just get this in the post today being Sunday, so it did take six days to get to me. It's a bit unfortunate, but hey ho, some very exciting, beautiful colours across the light and dark side of the palette. Um, I'm very excited to get my hands into the glitters and the shimmer shades. Um, they performed really well in previews that I've seen already. Um, so yeah, let's crack on into it. So I start with my base already done off camera and I was really interested in this slasher and Amsterdam shades. Um, so that's kind of what I'm going through here first and planning out what I'm going to do. So I go with a cut crease, just kind of fairly standard. Go in with Amsterdam in the front first and find it's just so easy to use. Um, it goes on really easily, but it's fantastic. Um, and then just after that, I use Slasher. I was so, so, so impressed with how they blended together, honestly. Um, they worked so well together. Um, and yeah, honestly, you can just see there, they just smoothly go into each other, um, which is phenomenal. Then I take the shade Plot Twist, and I also take Blended Snap, just to blend the two of those out. I'm also taking it just down the nose, so it all kind of blends in with my nose contour there. I'm just taking the colours a bit more, both the Amsterdam and the Slasher. And you can really build up those shades just to make it more, more depth to it. Um, honestly, these are phenomenal colours and the payoff is brilliant. I would say they are very, um, because they're very pigmented, they, there's a bit of fallout in the pan. They so would be careful, but otherwise they're phenomenal. Alright, and for my crease, what I decided to do was I use Blend and Snap um, on there. This is one of the shades I found was a little bit patchy, um, which is a bit unfortunate. I found the same with Plot Twist actually as well when I was trying to blend out the blue. It was a little bit difficult um, to get it really consistent. I did get there eventually, um, but it just took a little bit more work than the Slasher and the Amsterdam shades. And when I was done with that, I went in with Pride. That's one of the shimmer shades. And honestly, I didn't need much, but to be honest, I really wanted to pile it on because it looks amazing. And um, so watching each of these off camera was phenomenal. I went off, did my eyeliner off camera, and I set that with Give Face Cosmetics. And I'm so happy to announce that I also now have a discount code. Uh, it's called Julianne to get 10% off anything off the Give Face Cosmetics website at givefacecosmetics.co.uk so make sure to use code Julianne for 10% off any purchase on the website. You can see I've also just gone on with the slasher shade just on the under of the eye. I also blend that in with the Amsterdam and going towards the nose there as well. Again they just blend so phenomenally it's just incredible. I 
do that thing that Alyssa Edwards does like at the start of season two of All Stars and they rip her to pieces. I just always like looking in the camera and you're like feeling snatched, feeling amazing. And just looking at this back, I should do it so often. <laughs> So the colours I was using kind of made me think of like a kind of galaxy, the blue, the purple, nebula, so I decided to draw on some stars using my Krylon white TV paint stick, um, which you'll have seen. Oh, she's feeling herself. <laughs> Oh, and also just watching this back, it's just like, close your mouth, you're catching flies on. I'm not one for detail work very often like these stars, so it really did take me a while to get these perfect and how I kind of wanted them. But oh, she felt her oats when they were on, honey. So I decided to go a bit more into the contour with the slasher as well, just kind of bring it all together a little bit more and it really was great just to deepen up that contour, very beautiful. I then also go in with the Redemption Orange shade um, with the lights on stage and just the lights in front of my makeup mirror. I normally add a little bit of orange just to give me a little bit more life there um, and the shade Redemption was really great for that. And now I start kind of playing with the glitters a little bit more. So here I used uh, Roxy Catan on my cheek highlights. Um, and then I also go in with Ivy, which is the white shade under my brows. And it just really pops so well, honestly. Very impressed with these glitters. You can see how much my brush even picks up there. Um, although I would say use your finger is a lot better. All right, and we're almost done here. I'm just popping some highlights into the stars and we're ready for the final look. And this was a fabulous palette I would highly recommend as I've said before four throughout the review. They blend so well. There is a bit of fallout which is a bit unfortunate. Those glitter shimmer shades perform phenomenally. Um, only £25 is out of stock now but they are looking to restock so I would say get yourself signed up on beautybay.com to the newsletter to make sure you know when the palette next goes live. Otherwise if you like the video make sure to press the like button down below, subscribe and press the bell for the notifications for when I upload my next video. Alright, thanks. Bye guys.